Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Musical You and our monthly resource packs. My name is Dylan Welsh, I'm your resident guitar pro. For September, we're talking about playing with feeling. So how do we achieve that? How do we play with feeling? For a lot of people, you know, playing music is a, a tool or a hobby or something that they do in order to express themselves and express what they're feeling inside. However, that's not necessarily something you just pick up an instrument and start doing. You know, it sure doesn't feel like you're uh, expressing your feelings when you're sitting there on a stool with a metronome going for hours and hours and hours and hours or struggling over a difficult song or something like that. As far as um, being able to express yourself, there's one other key factor that I think often gets completely overlooked or ignored. And I feel like it's honestly the most important. And it's singing. As weird as that sounds, and I know a lot of people, you know, some people are just naturally comfortable singers. A lot of people aren't. And that's okay. You don't necessarily have to have a beautiful voice, a beautiful timbre. Um, but learning how to sing in tune and incorporating that into your practice regimen is actually the, it's literally the bridge that spans the gap between your head and what you hear in your head and your fretboard, what you do on the guitar. So if that's too tough, start with just rhythms, just sing rhythms. Da, 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 da. Bacata, bacata. I'm not thinking about notes too much. I'm just thinking, you know, trying to play notes that work, for example, you know, with whatever chord progression you're doing, but I'm at least conceptualizing rhythmic ideas in my head before moving on. From there, start trying to pick out melodies in your head.